A couple of years ago, I went through a season to where I was dissatisfied with my career. I felt like that I should be doing something different and that there was so much more in life and I wasn't living my life to my fullest potential. Not long ago, I walked into God's perfect will for my life. And the reason why I know that I walked into his perfect will is because everything in my life started falling into place. Once I start allowing God to lead me in every area of my life. Once I step back, and allow God to lead and direct me. That's when I found true happiness, contentment, and peace. If you feel an incomplete and you feel that you are designed to do so much more with your life, this video is for you. If you haven't watched part one yet, make sure that you stop and go back and watch that video then come back to this one. And part one is when I share my personal story and also the benefits of finding God's perfect will. In this video, I'm going to share the steps that I took in order to find God's perfect will in my life. So make sure you stay tuned. Number one, draw closer to God. You draw closer to God by just spending time with Him. And when you spend time with God, make sure that you are focusing only on Him. Try not to allow your mind to wander. When you spend time with God, it doesn't really matter like how long you should spend with Him. It's more about just taking out time in your life throughout the week, setting it aside just to spend time with Him. Number two, read your Bible and meditate on His Word. When you read your Bible, you want to be able to remember what you just read. So I recommend don't try to read a couple of chapters within one day. I would say just read a couple of verses or even just one verse and meditate on that Bible verse throughout the day. And, and even if you want to meditate on that particular verse throughout the whole week, the main thing is that you want to remember what you read and hide the word inside of your heart. And you hide the word inside of your heart by meditating on it. Tip number three, pray and ask God to connect your desires to his will and the reason why you want to ask God to help you to desire the things that's in his will for your life because you can't really follow all of your desires because some of your desires are going to be evil and then you're going to have other desires that's actually is going to be connected to God's will so when you pray just ask God to connect your desires to his will in the Bible it talks about guarding your heart and the reason why you should guard your heart is because that you have to be careful about what you intake what you gravitate to what you believe so what helped me is that i followed my heart and i paid attention to the desires that stood out to me but the desires that i followed was actually connected to god and the reason why i know it is because of they transform my life for example, when I started my YouTube channel, I wasn't for sure if that is what God wanted me to do, but when I made my first video, I felt inside that this was a good thing for me and that I should continue on doing it. But one thing that I did have, have to do, and I still do it now, is I try to stay connected with God when it comes to what content that I talk about because I want to make sure it's something that's in His wills something that he want me to talk about and not something that I'm just talking about just because it's popular. Tip number four, submit to God in all areas of your life. If you are a wife, if you are a mom, even in your career, all the areas in your life, you do want to submit to God in those areas. For example, you may wonder, how do I submit to God in my career? Just do your best whatever field that you are in do your best and you do it as if you are serving God if you are married as a wife try to become a better wife in whatever area that you have in your life there's always some room for improvement and so you want to pay attention to those areas you don't only supposed to pay attention to your relationship that, that you have with God but you need to pay attention also to the relationships that you have with people as well that is what pleases God and also brings glory unto Him. 
If you are married, submit to your husband. Focus on trying to please him. Respect your husband, even if he doesn't deserve it. In the Bible, it talks about how that a sanctified wife can sanctify her husband and how you sanctify him is through your behavior. So if you can sanctify your husband by just doing good, you can also change him by showing good deeds. If you are a mom, make sure that you are being the best mom that you can be in areas in your life as a mom that you know that you need help in, that you are weak at. Reach out to God and ask him to help you, to show you how to raise your children, to show you how to give them what they need from you. Show your children love and also respect them. Treat them the way you want to be treated. My life transformed when I learned how to trust God and to allow him to lead and provide for me. And I'm so glad that I did. I have a question for you. Are you willing to allow God to lead and guide you? Do you want his perfect will for your life? If so, what are you willing to do or give up? If you need some Christian wife or mom advice, or even if you're dealing with fear, self-doubt, insecurities, schedule a consultation with me. I will have my information in my description box. If you like my message and you just want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on the notification bell. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for the next upload. Bye.